Hey guys, Harry here with a real world tool review. Uh, this is a review just from me who's used the tool for over two years. Uh, this isn't a sponsored review, this is a tool I bought myself. Uh, I've used this style of Tyzak Spear and Jackson trowel for about two years, Philadelphia and London pattern. This particular size is 10 inch, but you can get up to 12 inch with these trowels. Um, the style of handle is a Durasoft, they come in either leather or wood, to my knowledge, and they're a solid trowel. The features that this trowel doesn't have over some of the more expensive brands is the flexibility. So when it comes to your trowel having any flex, it's pretty much stiff as a board. Um, as you can see, the thickness of the steel is just as thick at the end as it is at the heel. So it isn't quite as effective at cutting bricks because the quality of steel isn't quite as hard. Um, you'll get that twang effect as you can hear there. But when it comes to the other features, it's a really solid trowel. You can get these trowels for as low as 20 pounds. Uh, I've seen them up to about 30 pounds, depending on what size and what handle finish you want. Um, this is a London pattern, as you can see, but they come in Philadelphia as well. Um, at the moment, I'm a big fan of the Philadelphia. I'm a big advocate of uh, laying bricks with a pick and dip style. Uh, pick and dip requires obviously taking a trowel mortar, laying it, and then laying your brick at the same time. So picking both up at once. Uh, this is an ideal trowel to start learning the pick and dip, a 10 inch. You can either get the Spear and Jackson, uh, Philadelphia or the London pattern. But this is an ideal trowel to start learning. If you've already got like say a Marshalltown 12 inch or an 11, and you're wanting to just get a 10 inch really cheap to, to test it out whether you like the style or not because not everyone uh, is suited to pick and dip. Uh, this is a good option, it's a cheaper option but the trowel quality feels good, it's a light trowel, it feels light in your hand, it'll probably feel lighter than your Marshall Town when you first grab it. Um, but uh, when it comes to size, you can hold plenty of mortar on this, especially the wide heel. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this style anymore, but even though I used it for a good five months, um, the wide heel for me, uh, I don't have as much control over the mortar, but for learning especially, uh, it's definitely ideal. You can get plenty of mortar on a small area on the trowel, so definitely a good option. So yeah, that's all I can say really about the trowel. Um, it's it's just to get you going really. It's, it's you know you can use it full time as a seasoned bricklayer, or even if you're coming back into the trade after having ten years off. You know, and you, and you haven't got all your old tools. Uh, a lot of these reviews are going to be centered around budget tools because I'm a big fan of budget tools. I think that there's too much, uh, you know, there's too many people using the name of a certain brand of tools and basically saying they're better than anything else when a lot of the cheap tools are just as good in my opinion. And I've used a lot of cheap tools and I can tell you that they get the job done just as fast as using the expensive ones. A lot of the time you're just paying for that name, so. Um, the only thing I've experienced on the downside of these trowels is the fact the end caps can come off. Um, on the wooden versions especially, both my end caps have come off. So I recommend either getting a bigger screw and screwing your end cap in tight with a thicker screw or using some epoxy resin to sort of make a screw hole and then epoxy and screw it at the same time. That's, that's a bit, you know, that's probably the one of the cons about this, but at the end of the day, even if your trowel does get a little bit uh, dinged up at the end and he sees in brick level no you shouldn't really be tapping the, the brick with the end of the trowel anyway but this can be mainly happen on block work if you're doing a lot of footings or a lot of concrete blocks uh, the end can get knackered up so if you really do like the blade itself you can always replace the handle this handle will come off especially on the wooden ones it's a little bit easier but you can always saw the handle off and put yourself a new handle on uh, you know with some epoxy so, you know, there's always options to modify these trowels, but the, the blade, is, the blade is, is, is solid. You know, it's stiff as a board, so it, you know, it's not gonna break. Solid forged piece of steel, obviously, I'll only review um, solid forged trowels. I won't review any welded jobbies around the, uh, around the neck. But I'm, you know, I'm very impressed with this trowel for, for how much it costs. 20 pounds, and you can lay just as many bricks as you can with a Marshall Town. And, uh, and especially for the price, you feel like you're getting a good deal. You know, you're getting a good deal, you don't feel like you're being robbed. Some of the price of the W Rose trowels and Marshall Towns, 
can be upwards of 70 or 80 pounds depending on the size. I know the nine inch trials have got very popular, but if you're wanting something that's a budget version of a nine inch, get a 10. And, uh, and even if you don't like, and for the price of it, even if you don't like the wider heel, you could even, you could even take an angle grinder to the, to the corners and slowly grind off a little bit of the heel and slowly grind off a little bit of the tip and make it a nine inch. So you've got a lot of options here. These are real world tool reviews by me and uh, I'm only gonna be reviewing tools that I've used extensively and uh, it's gonna be a real world application. There's, there's no promo or anything. So thank you very much uh, for watching and I'll see you in the next one.